We're back to talk about this book, Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. And, you know, one of the most commonly cited lessons for a great reason is the levels of awareness, the five levels of awareness that are in Breakthrough Advertising. Why? Because it pretty much sums up the entire buying decision making process that your prospect is going to go through from not being aware at all that they have a problem, a challenge, something that they want to have solved to, um, to, to becoming aware of having that problem, to realizing that there are solutions out there, to realizing uh, to, to learning about the specific solutions available, which could be your solution, to being ready to buy, to being ready to make that purchase. And that's, that's like how we make decisions about the things that we want to buy. And it's, it's not necessarily a problem. It can be an unfulfilled desire, right? But it's, it's still that same decision-making process. And it was completely revolutionary. And people who internalize this use it in terms of how to approach a market, how to sell to the market, how to write copy um, to speak to the audience, and it makes the advertising more profitable. Now, I had kind of a, a new breakthrough that I want to make sure that you understand that I'm going to share with you because sometimes just giving clarity to things like, and this is something, it's, it's something that I've worked with for a number of years, I've I've been mildly aware of it, but it just crystallized in my mind. This new breakthrough that's going to make the levels of awareness even more powerful for you, for building your business, for building client businesses. So with that, let's get into the notes here. Uh, so again, this is from Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. It's all about the levels of market awareness. And um, by the way, I, I have a video, one of the most popular videos on my channel, is is called the message market match the golden key and it's about lining up the levels of, aware of awareness with my paisa copywriting formula and just breaking it down here really quick you know when somebody enters a market they are completely unaware they may start to have this vague sense that they want something to be different but they're not really even aware that it's a clear problem right and so in my paisa formula that's when you introduce the problem that's when you speak to the problem then they become problem aware Okay, but maybe they're not quite ready to go out in search of solutions yet. So you have to provoke emotional agitation around that problem and leaving it unsolved, right? Agitation, that emotional agitation is what will lead us to take action to solve the problem. Well, when suddenly they're thinking, okay, I got to find a solution, they become aware that there is some kind of solution out there, right? And they really they become aware that there may be multiple solutions out there. There may be do-it-yourself solutions. There may be a, a solution to the problem may be just ignoring it. A uh, solution to the problem uh, may be your specific solution. It may be services that are available. It may be products that are available. There's there's lots of potential solutions, right? And so the next step in, in my PISA formula is the invalidation of other options, explaining why different solutions have not been effective or are not effective, as effective as yours at solving the problem, right? So we've gone from unaware to problem aware to solution aware. And the way that we've done that as marketers, as copywriters, is we've introduced the problem, we've provoked the emotional agitation around the problem, and then we have invalidated the other solutions. Now, when we do this, they become very aware about your specific solution. And what you need to do here is you lay out the solution, right? The ideal buying criteria that leads to them choosing your solution over every other option available to them in the marketplace, including competitors, do-it-yourself options, or not doing anything to solve the problem, right? And then they become deal ready. And that deal ready is, hey, uh, this is what I want. Is it a good deal? Should I buy it today? Right? And then you do things in your copy to provoke them to take action. So this can be limited time, limited quantity. It can be uh, market specific urgency factors. It can be buyer specific urgency factors. It can be a deal of some kind, maybe a sale, maybe exclusive bonuses that aren't going to last forever, whatever. Right? But that's all about getting them to take action. And again, in my 
message market match video, which will be linked with this episode, I do go much, much deeper into that. But that's where we're starting from here. That's the levels of market awareness. That's not the new breakthrough. The new breakthrough comes next. So what I recognized and what I want to share with you today is first, something that you're probably familiar with, where the most buyers exist in any market. But second, there is a very specific spot, a very specific spot on that levels of awareness, on that market awareness spectrum, where the high ticket buyers are hanging out. And so there's a difference between where you find the most buyers and where you find the high ticket buyers, the, the people who are ready to spend a lot of money today. So you find the most buyers. I have the entire spectrum here in my notes, but I'm going to highlight this. Unaware, the people who are unaware and becoming problem aware, that is where the most buyers exist in any marketplace. They are not necessarily the highest ticket buyers. Oftentimes, they're only interested in something like a, a very low ticket introductory offer. Right? But if you're looking just in terms of sheer scale, reaching people at that place where they're saying, something is wrong here, I want something to be different, I'm recognizing symptoms of a problem or symptoms of an unfulfilled desire, I want an outcome in my life that I don't have yet, that is the biggest, broadest market out there. Now, this is also typically where it requires, especially in competitive markets, really good copywriters to, uh, to craft the messages that compete. And in fact, in Breakthrough Advertising, Schwartz did talk about that. He talked about how uh, the less aware a market is, the more important the job of the copywriter is to move them from that state of being unaware, maybe mildly problem aware, all the way up to deal ready, taking action in a single marketing message. That said, if you want to find the most buyers, having low ticket offers that address this, like understanding the problem, we'll, we'll actually get to that in more detail in just a minute here, but having low ticket offers that address this, like understanding the problem, understanding the solution, that's going to be where you're going to find the most buyers. The highest ticket buyers are already experienced in the marketplace. They have tried other solutions. They're kind of fed up because they have bought other solutions that haven't worked out. They're kind of fed up because they've tried to solve the problem themselves and didn't figure it out. They're kind of fed up because other marketers have promised you know that that desired outcome but not fulfilled on it and they're looking for something that's finally going to solve the problem that's finally going to put that unsolved problem or the unfulfilled desire behind them they are very solution aware and they are very ready to hear the invalidation arguments for why the different products or services that they've tried so far have not worked for them. They, uh, they're looking for a new understanding of a persistent problem using language that I've used before, that uh, NUP secret, new understanding of a persistent problem. So they're aware of the problem, right? They're aware of why it's such a pain in the butt to continue to have the problem. And they're just looking for a better solution, a solution that's actually going to work this time. And they're because they've spent money on things that haven't worked, if you actually have something that is like verifiable, that's valid, that will work for them, they're usually willing to pay a lot more for that. Okay. And speaking to them, yes, you need to acknowledge that you solve the problem or you help them fulfill the desire. But you can almost speak past that because really you're offering a better way and you have to very quickly be able to justify that better way. You have to show that you understand 
why other solutions have not worked. You have to show that you understand what an ideal solution needs to contain in order for it to finally solve their problem, right? And so, like in a marketplace where there are a ton of buyers, we'll, we'll pick a software marketplace. In a software marketplace where there are a ton of buyers and, and they're all familiar with the competing software that exists in that marketplace, this is where like the product comparison tables and those blog articles that are comparing XYZ solution to ABC solution to LMNOP solution and has, you know, explanation of pros and cons of each solution on these different points. And it has the product comparison tables. And then turns out the article was actually written by one of those people. And one of them looks to be, or, you know, one of those software companies. And, and that one actually looks to be the best, right? That's what's going on here. They're not targeting the vast unaware market. They're targeting the higher ticket buyers, the people who are ready to switch between solutions, the people who are deep into comparison shopping and looking for the ideal situation for them. And if someone lays out, here's why the other solutions are not as good as this one, then that typically is going to justify a higher ticket purchase. Now it is, I will say it is less scalable. So let's get back into that. Here's how to engineer scale and profits using the levels of awareness and this new breakthrough that I just shared with you. Here's how to engineer scale. You want a low ticket market entry offer, what I often call a welcome mat offer. And really the core purpose of this offer is to not for yourself, but for the customer in the market, define the problem to be solved, right? Give them a complete understanding of here's, here is why you have this problem, right? Here is why you have this challenge. Here is why you're facing this unfulfilled desire, right? Here is the problem. And defining the solution. Now you're not gonna implement it for them. You're not going to, um, you know, this, this is not a high ticket done for you service or anything like that. This is a very scalable, usually information based product, you know, in the markets that I typically play in, there's going to be some variation. This principle can apply. It can apply beyond information marketing, beyond coaching, consulting, course publication, all of that, right? But you're going to want to define the problem and define the solution. Okay, here's the problem, here's the solution. And that's a very scalable offer if it's delivered as kind of a do-it-yourself thing. There's, there's a product that's delivered, there's a tool that's delivered, there's information that's delivered, there's a course, there's a, a template, there's a whatever it is that's delivered, right? But it's all about helping them understand, okay, here's the problem and here's what a solution looks like, right? Because these people are very early in the market they are really just wrapping their head around the problem, the need to solve it. They're not ready to spend a bunch of money yet. So they're just looking for, they're looking for something that can help them understand what's going on on a much deeper level. Now you might argue like, oh, why don't you just jump ahead and solve their problem? Well, if jumping ahead and solving their problem is something that's going to require a higher end offer, that's gonna require more handholding on your part, more, more work on your part, if it requires a deeper level of understanding, if it requires more education in the market or about the problem, if, it, if anything about that means that you can't deliver it for less than 10 or 20 bucks, uh, then no, don't do that yet. Do enough that they can start going down that path and solving the problem themselves. Like largely what you're, ser what you're serving here is the do-it-yourself market, which is where everybody is at at the very beginning. Like I'm gonna go solve this problem, right? So you help define the problem and you help define the solution and make it useful, make it valuable, make it something that like when they consume it, they feel like they got a ton of value out of it, right? When they use the product, whatever it is, they feel like they are on their way to a solution, if not getting there already. And maybe some of them will all just solve the problem at this stage of the game. 
But because everybody's different, every problem is different, every challenge is different, every unfulfilled desire is different. You know, some people just want somebody to hold their hand. Some people are ready to, to um, you know, buy everything that you have to offer. You also are going to structure engineering profits. Right? You're going to engineer profits by focusing a high ticket offer on sophisticated buyers. And going back to that whole market awareness spectrum, this is where people look at different solutions and consider some solutions to be invalid, right? And so your marketing for this is largely, hey, you know, if you're sick and tired of having this problem and you've tried everything and nothing has worked, here's why it hasn't worked. And here is our unique and superior mechanism that has allowed us to create this ideal solution for you, right? So you've tried a bunch of things. They haven't worked. We know what works. Let us give it to you. And this tends to be a higher ticket offer. Again, it's focused on people who are deeper into the awareness spectrum. They've gone from unaware to problem aware to solution aware, right? That there are solutions out there, but maybe are looking for an ideal solution. And by the way, by the way, you can point to your ideal solution in your scalable offer. I'm not saying you can't point to your ideal solution. I'm not saying you can't tell them what the solution is, right? But uh, these higher ticket offers are much more focused on, listen, I'm gonna make sure you get it right. I'm gonna make sure that you truly understand. I'm gonna make sure that you get that solution. I'm gonna walk you over the finish line here, right? And that's where profits come. So you can scale. And the scale, it should not be something that requires a bunch of effort. And really the profits, you know, if, if this is a more scalable, maybe done with you offer versus done for you services, then it's also something where it's going to be, uh, it's going to be scalable and your profits are just going to go bigger and bigger, right? But it's about focusing these different offers on the different segments of the market awareness spectrum from Eugene Schwartz, the levels of awareness. So you build this low ticket. If you want to engineer scale plus profits, you build a low ticket problem solution offer, and then you build a high ticket superior mechanism offer where you're actually helping them implement the superior mechanism, whatever that looks like in your market for your business, for your customers and clients. Call to action for you at this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get more breakthrough marketing content like this from me, Roy Fur, this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. And importantly, ask yourself how you can use this. Like, I, I, it's worth nothing for me doing these podcast episodes, doing these YouTube videos, if you are not using it, implementing it, and generating more success as a result. So ask yourself how you can use this. And I will again include a link to the message market match, the golden key in the description with this episode. So you check the links in the description for that and more. I'm Roy Fur, this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.